Now this just shows how you have to experiment with whirly gigs. Earlier I showed you how to set this rod up and get this motion correct so that he's, his hammer is actually hitting the anvil and I now realise that I've got it wrong because what I normally do is I have the horseshoe, his other arm, popping up and down like this on the other side and to do that I usually put a piece of wire, as you saw on the blue one I showed earlier, there's a piece of wire which links from around his arm here and, and just fits underneath this arm and flicks it up and down. Now if you notice on this one th there's a piece of wire which is hooked onto his other his, his right arm with the hammer and it's got a piece of wire attached underneath this and all it does as I turn the fan round it lifts this, this arm which is just resting loose it just lifts it up every so often to give it that an extra motion if you like and that's what I wanted to achieve on the other one which was on there originally when I made it um, but to do that if we go around to this side you, the piece of wire is fitted through here on the arm I've painted over it but it's basically two holes drilled in piece of wire poked through through here which is bent and links up just to give that other arm a little tap to move it up but you'll notice the position of the wire in the lowest position is here. Now if I go back to the other one I'll show you where I've gone wrong. We're back to the the one I'm repairing. Now you'll notice that when is when the hammer's on the anvil, the lowest position, his arm is right down the side of his body, so there's nowhere really I can put a wire on. I could stretch a wire out and bend it up, put a double bend on, but it that would put more pressure on it and it would be more likely to break. So what it really needs is the hammer needs to be at a different angle so that the arm is up. So what I've done, I've, I'll take this off, I've drilled another hole through at a different angle like that. So now you'll see that when the hammer is at its lowest position, you can there's room this side, his arm isn't down here, it's sticking out of it, where I can put a wire on which will just hook under this one and hook this one up. It's only a small thing and you don't have to bother with it if you're making one like this, but I just like to see the, the extra motion of his, this, this tapping up and down on the anvil as he's bashing it. And uh, doing that would allow me to do it. So that, that is a better position for the hammer. I've drilled a hole in another, I obviously have to fill the hole up or I could make a new arm, it doesn't matter which. But also you see, because I've done that, this is where the experimental part of it comes in, because I've done all that, then this linkage is now too long. Now you see, when I turn it now, I'm gonna move it, the hammer goes down far too far. And, and if it hits on there, it'll put a strain on this linkage up here and it'll either bend the thing and snap off or it'll jam. You see it's pretty tight there, it won't turn. And I haven't even got a proper loop there, it's just hooked in. So this wire is now much too long, as you can see where the, the hammer actually goes right down here. So what I've got to do is, this is the important thing of what I said about only make a temporary wire, don't make the proper one until you're ready because if I had done it would be wrong. So what I need to do is to make this wire a bit shorter. So again, this is just experimental. I'll just move it round about like that, just roughly, and we'll try that. Now, obviously that's a bit too... <laughs> it's, he's waving it about in the air now, so he's not far. So that's, that is actually too short. So, again, with my soft piece of wire, I can adjust it a little bit more, and you can just do a little bit at a time until you get it right. And this is the importance of experimenting, and don't make the linkages properly. Now, that's getting a bit nearer, look. But he's still not hitting it, and I want him to clout the anvil, so... As I say, it's all experimental at the moment, that's better. Now he's just tapping that. That actually is about right. So you see, even though originally I thought I got it right, afterwards I realised that for the, the way I was going to make it, it was totally wrong. As I've explained before, um, I often use bits of Meccano on my word, because it just happens to be convenient, especially for these brackets where the, on the fan end, uh, but they do tend to wear out. This is a, a bracket here, a piece of Meccano. You don't have to have new Meccano, anything will do, any old bit of Meccano. If you haven't got any Meccano, just bend some metal up or just have two separate brackets. It doesn't matter. They don't have to be precision made or anything. But one thing you'll notice is that in time, with this thing going round in all weathers, it does tend to wear away the, the hole that the 
um, rod goes through as you can see especially on the propeller end where you've got the weight this end isn't so bad so what I would do in this case the hole is elongated and the easy way to do it is just get another piece of Meccano or a, this is just a short three hole piece of Meccano and then you can then just simply put a little Meccano nut and bolt through like this I mean, in fact actually I sometimes I do this when I'm making the thing in the first place um, I put an extra piece of metal up there because it makes it that much stronger you've got to make sure that it's lined up properly because otherwise if you have that in the wrong position um, then you'll find that it, the rod will be too tight to turn so try and get it about right but just by putting that on there that solves the problem and uh, it'll give it a lot longer life before it actually wears out because it will wear the hole out so that's one way of doing it you don't have to, you can use anything any piece of broken metal that's a bit of broken Meccano oh, you always want to make sure you keep a bit of grease or oil on them regularly uh, that'll make them last longer I thought I'd just show you the connecting rod now I've uh, made the correct one um, it's made as I mentioned before just out of an old bicycle spoke there's one here um, it's it's um, stainless steel, so it, so it won't grow rusty, and it's pretty strong. They're quite difficult to bend. Uh, all I've done, I've taken my temporary piece of wire that you can see here that I showed in my earlier piece of video. Uh, so I knew the length, and I just matched it up and bent the bicycle spoke to do the same job, because obviously this is much too soft and won't last. And what I've done, um, I'll just move in a bit. You'll notice on the bottom. I've just hooked it round and I've put two little bushes on it, one either side. These are just simple Meccano bushes, but you can use anything, as I explained in my other videos. Um, one thing to remember is when you're putting the rod on there, leave it nice and loose like I've done there. Don't be tempted to tighten that up like so. Um, it might look neater and it might look smoother, but it will jam up because of the movement of the top. So try and leave, you, you don't want it to come off, obviously, and the bush will keep it on. So what I've done, can I get the screwdriver in now? Is leave a fairly good gap there. Put two large washers. Oh, more thumbs. That's a bit too tight, you see. You don't want it, you want plenty of play in it to give it some movement. As I say, this has got to come apart again anyway, so I'm only doing it to show you. But if you leave it nice and loose there and put a couple of large washers just to stop it from jumping out of place, uh, that'll do the job. And up the top end, up there. All it is is just a, a screw-in hook into the arm there um, and then I've simply hooked this in the top. Now it's a fairly close fit but it's a good idea when you've actually finished and you're ready to do it is just get a pair of pliers on it and pinch pinch it up so that it can't fly it. otherwise there is a tendency that this will twist and it will pull out of there and stop working. It's not the end of the world you can put it back in again but I always when I finish the job, before I put it outside, I just tighten that up a bit. And I just thought I'd show you that bit. Now this is another way of fixing the connecting rod um, onto the figure. If you haven't got any collars, another way you can do it is just use a piece of wire. This is just a bit of soft wire I'm just using for the purpose. It's a demonstration, but you want to use a bit thicker than this. All you do is just get your piece of rod about the right size. Probably it's better to get it a little bit wider if you can, a bit thicker I should say, uh, than the one you're planning to use. And you just simply get the wire and wrap it tightly around the rod once you get it started in close formation as you can see I'm doing here try and get it as close as possible you can tighten it up afterwards but it's easier to do it in this way just make several turns you, you can have as many as you like but generally speaking if you have about that will probably suffice and then it's a simple matter of trimming the, the duff end off you can bend that piece if you want just get a pair of pliers or something to tighten it up Tighten that end up a bit. Right. And then you've got to snip that off. I'll just get some cutters. I can find them. My grandson's been using all my tools and I, he's, I can't find my cutters now. What's he done with them? There they are. He's put them in a different place. I'll just crop that off there, look. The end nippers. There we go. And there you can see there's a little connecting rod. Now, the, the principle of that is that. If you put that 
into your whirly gig part on the end of the cam like that because it's long because of the length of it it's going to stay in about the same position on the rod if you just put a single turn like this I hope you can see this I can't see what I'm filming at the moment if you just put a single turn like, like I did on the other one with no collars it will actually ride off the end and, and it could jam up and all sorts the, prin the principle of this is because it's much longer the coil it will keep it in the right position on the rod and it's just a simple matter actually of putting a bit of grease or something on it to keep it going and it will generally stay in that the same position and that is I have used that method on, on some of my whirly gigs depends what, what the situation is the advantage of that is you can use it on a closed cam, which you can't on the other type, where well, you can't put collars on then. If you can't put a collar on, that'll do the job. What I'll do for now, um, I've got quite a bit to do on this one yet. Um, a bit more painting, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get on with it, turn the camera off now, and get on doing a bit more painting to it and fiddling around, adjusting things, get it working properly. And then I'll come back and show you... Uh, you know what it's going to look like and if any more hints and tips I can think of one thing is do have a go at making one it's good fun you don't have to make it too elaborate and you don't have to be an expert you can do it any any how you like and I mean the characters can be as funny as you like and as weird or quirky as you like in fact the quirkier they are the better they are so don't be put off um, they are really good fun to make and it, I think it's quite actually quite a relaxing thing to do you can fiddle around with them for hours on end if you like fiddling around with things for hours and that is, I find them quite therapeutic actually. Um, they do need a bit of fiddling to get them working right, but it is quite good fun and people do seem to enjoy seeing them working. I think people get quite fascinated by them, the fact that they're wind powered as well. That's if you've got some wind of course to drive them. Annoyingly, once I produce one and put it outside, we don't get any wind. Anyway, I'll come back a bit later on and we'll show you a bit more. Bye for now.